Good morning, I'm Brandon Oswald and today we are talking about shoe repair. Shoes, they would wear out and in the 18th century in America wasn't a throwaway society. So you had to have somebody to repair those shoes and that's where the cobbler comes in. They were everywhere and they were necessary. Now cobblers, they weren't the shoemakers. The shoemakers were called a cord wainer. And cord wainers wouldn't do the repairs, they left that for the cobblers. Now cobblers, a lot of times they would do just enough to get you down the road. They weren't the expert cord wainers, they were just the repairmen. And as a matter of fact, a lot of cord wainers considered cobbler work beneath them. That was repair work, it was the shoes were already worn and dirty, and that's not something they wanted to mess with. Cobblers were so important to society because your shoes would wear out. They would go from this to this in no time flat. The common man only had one pair of shoes. This pair I've had since the Elmbark Canoe video, the building the cabin. So they've had a lot of work and wear and they are due for a little bit of repair. My shoes need two different repairs. I have this one here that the front part of the sole popped, the stitching popped out. And this other one, the heel wore unevenly. The leather, it wears, wears pretty quick. And everybody walks differently, so everybody's gonna wear differently on their soles. Their soles are gonna wear out in different places. So we're gonna start with replacing the heel first. And as you can see, it's worn down. They started off with about four layers. They stack it on top of each other to make the heel. This one, the way I walk, I wear it off to one side, and it's already worn down through the first one and into the second, so we have to peel two layers off and replace those. Cobblers didn't need very many tools, just very basic tools, so some punches and a hammer. One an important tool is just a strap with a buckle, it's adjustable. We use that to latch your work to your lap. It's kind of like a, a lap strap, a little vise to keep your work handy and close. We have our two layers of the heel peeled off. To make the new piece, I'm going to take the piece that is got the best shape, that's got the full shape. You see this one here, it's really worn down. So it, it wore halfway through that piece, so that's trash. I'm gonna throw that away. This is the one, however, that we're gonna use to make our new heel piece. We're just gonna cut that out of leather. The leather we're going to use is veg tan, and that's what all the soles were made out of nice veg tan because you can soak it and hammer it and compress the fibers and make it harder to make the sole last a little longer. I pulled two layers off of the heel, but I'm only going to replace it with one. It's because of the thickness of the leather. And also, we're not trying to rebuild it to how the original shoe was. We want to make a workable pair of shoes. Cobblers would uh, do a little bit of corrective shoeing, kind of like a farrier would on a horse. If I built this up with two layers this thickness, uh, I'd be walking kind of, kind of lopsided. So. We just want to repair it to where it needs to be. We wet our, our heel piece, just soaked it in water, and then we hammered it to squish all the fibers. It's called seasoning, seasoning the leather. And what that does is it makes it really hard. It'll make the, the heel piece or the sole last a lot longer. Typically you would have a, a lapstone if you were a poor cobbler, or if you were fortunate enough to have 
one of these cobbler's anvils, those work really nice too. The next step is to glue this piece on with hide glue, and then we're going to use wooden pegs to nail it in place. Well, our heel's done, looks good. It's a quick fix, typical of what cobblers would do. The glue that we used on it, however, was hide glue. And watch in an upcoming video, and we'll show you just how to make that. The pegs went in great, and we got the edge burnished nice, and time to get on to the other shoe. Now this one, you see the, uh, the stitches have given way on the main sole. The main sole isn't that bad. We don't have any uh, holes worn in it, so we're just going to stitch it back together. And we need to make sure that we stitch it to the right part. There is a piece inside the shoe called a welt, and it attaches the sole and the upper together. It's kind of like the, uh, the connector piece. We want to make sure we stitch it right to that. Today we're using the classic saddle stitch. We use it quite a bit. And we're talking about cobblers being so common. And wh why is that? Well, shoes wore out a lot. And the reason why they wore out was leather doesn't take abrasion very well. And you're walking on all kinds of surfaces. You've got brick and stone and gravel. So it'll wear your shoes out really fast. And that's why cobblers were so important. And that's why your shoes wore out so fast. Well, we're all finished here. I'm really happy with how it turned out. This is my first time doing this. And these repairs, they'll give me another month or two, depending on what I'm doing of use, before they'll need repaired again. And it was so fun reading about cobblers and how they were able to fix shoes so easily. And if you would like to see me do any other shoe repair, just leave a message down in the comments below. Once again, thanks for watching and have a good day.